Alright, after some slight technical difficulties and my pop filter apparently moving while I was looking away, um, we're ready to actually do this. Chat should be working now. Black borders are gone. So let's see here. Vibration on. Music volume. Can you hear me now? Mm, I'll leave it for now. Um, okay, so sync test. Up, up, down, down. Now I'm gonna wait for the catch up. Seems good, seems good. Alright, gonna increase the game volume just a touch. Oh, I don't know if that caught up. I uh, caught on the microphone. Okay, needs to be raised just a bit more. Alright, uh, now let me check this. How about this? Um, oh, no, wait, just, just a little more, just a little more. Alright, checking. Probably good right here, I think. No, let me switch over to the chat in a second, and I will, uh, we will start. Okay, we're on restream chat now. Well, not yet. Now we are. Now let me just plug it into my uh, headphone thingamabob here and we can get started. Alright, tell me how this is. Right here. You know what, I'm, I'm gonna take a listen to it real quick. Sorry for the delay. But I have been, you know, one, you know once bitten, forever shy, so... So I would rather play it on the safe side with a little bit of delay than, you know, just assume it's alright and regret it immensely later. Alright, check, check. Money. 
check, check. Yeah, I think that's good there. Now let me refresh the chat, plug it in, and I'll stop wasting immense amounts of your time. Okay. Yes. Alright, so I'm playing this on an Xbox. Oh. Welcome to our little tale of woe, triumph against impossible odds, terror, and managerly responsibility. Our story begins in the calm waters above the town of Bikini Bottom. As we descend beneath the waves, we find another day. Wait a minute! Hold your seahorses! I can't believe this is happening here! It's horrible! Oh, thank Neptune, my manager's here! Talk to me, Krabs. It started out as a simple order. A Krabby Patty with cheese. So what went wrong? When the customer took a bite... No cheese! Oh, this has never happened before! Get a hold of yourself, Eugene. I'm going in. In great contrast to uh, Mr. Krabs in Battle for Bikini Bottom, fear, this guy actually has bottom. his proper the voice. Is here. So, I'm playing this on an Xbox with Progressive Scan. This is the only version of this game that has Progressive Scan, I think. I mean, at least natively. Mm, I'm not sure what that is. That glow there. So anyway, this is a game based on the SpongeBob movie, as you're already no doubt keenly aware. And, you know, it's a, up manliness. it uses uh, pretty much the same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom. Made by the same developers. It's a bit more linear than that game. But uh, I still think it's pretty fun. I was going to play this, I was going to be cheeky and play this on uh, the day oh, the Krusty Krab 2 opened, but I decided against it because of the announcement of the remake. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. And I am very excited about the remake, or at least the promise of the remake. Hopefully it ends up being good. And yeah, I, I wondered if they were going to redub uh, Mr. Krabs' voice in the remake. I mean, obviously they can't do Mermaid Man anymore, as morbid as that is to say, but it is the truth. Okay, but yeah, this game's a little bit more linear than the than Battle for Bikini Bottom. It's a short slide from but, uh, to, well, you know, manager. it it, it kind of has to be to follow the plot of the movie. Also, this reminds me that 
I didn't know about this when I played Battle for Bikini Bottom on stream before, but the trees in that game uh, use poop as their texture. So that's that's fun. The poop trees. Oh, I, I hit that dead on. And as the game has informed me, a manager. as the game has informed me, there is in fact rumble. See what extra you have just earned. Go to the extra section on the options menu. Shh, you're not in the plot yet. You know, I didn't even think if rumble is going to pick up. Is going to pick up on the stream, on the microphone. <laughs> I can turn it off if need be. Didn't even occur to me. I'm so used to playing this with a wave bird. Thanks for the help, boys. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. I keep, I keep having to talk over Spongebob. Alright, so as the game has told us just now, we have earned an upgrade point. We can upgrade our stuff. But we're already halfway over with this level, so I think it would make more sense to wait. But yes, there is an experience system in this game, of all things. Tough being a manager. Go, Thanks for the encouragement, good sir. Cleanliness is next to managerliness. See just ooze macho. Yeah, I'm gonna want to get as many of these weights as possible. These dumbbells. Not to be confused with the dumbbell I'm playing as, or the dumbbell that I am. But yeah, you will notice a lot of similarities to Battle for Bikini Bottom. Um, Hypernova? of this establishment, everything is gonna be just fine. I'm really scared, man! You got a name? Phil? <laughs> Come on, Phil, stay with me. I've only got one shot at this. Gotta have the right tools for the job. Bingo. Now I want you to do me a favor, Phil. What? Say cheese. Ah, uh, the beginning. A little yellow friend awakes from his slumber and prepares for the biggest day of his life. Yet despite his dreams, he is not honored with the manager position of the new Krusty Krab 2. So he sulks off to drown his depression in ice cream at the local Goofy Goovels. Across the street, jealous of Mr. Krab's success, the diabolical Plankton hatches Plan Z. He steals King Neptune's crown and frames Mr. Krabs for selling it to the far-off and dangerous land of Shell City. Let us now join our heroes in the midst of their self-pity. Hypernova, is there any particular reason hey. you're... Hey, buddy. Come on. Typing Wake one up. letter at a time? Huh? Where am I? It's eight in the morning. Closed. Go collect your friend and get out of here. Hey, buddy! Come on up here and join the party! SpongeBob! Gotta love how the plot of this movie so far, this this kid's movie, 
is that SpongeBob got denied a promotion and got drunk at a bar. The manliness has landed. Anyway. Oh, you think you're clever, do ya? This is the main reason that I had opted to wait. So I would upgrade Patrick instead of SpongeBob. Reflectomatic! Just so I can reflect projectiles with that. Jumping, jumper, jumper, and I think it might be more powerful, but I'm not sure. Is there any button to just like center the camera? Yeah, it's right, it's right stick. Right stick, press down. Return of the organ theme. I'm just kind of enamored by the music. How much of a man do I have to be? Well, after hours, the goofy goober sure is a lot less goofy. The trap. It has befallen me. The other trap, it has befallen me. Yeah, I when I was testing out this game on my Xbox, I, I kind of had to stop myself from playing past this level. <laughs> Dang it, I've screwed up. <laughs> okay. I, I was wondering what the deal was. I want it. It's a meager sum, but I want it. This is a uh, Xbox because the Xbox version, if I recall right, is the only one to support progressive scan natively. The GameCube version can be forced into progressive scan, but uh, you still get like combing artifacts on the smoke here if you do that. So it's less ideal than just native. Man, the staff here are really aggressive. The staff is aggressive. Oh, and uh, that's something we can't do yet, but we'll come back here later. A lot of the uh, non-essential missions are less like in this game are less like uh you know you gotta you gotta find them and more you just can't do them once you enter the level so you gotta come back later but i mean you can instantly warp to them so it's not a huge issue hey it's you two again <laughs> i missed you guys <laughs> Okay, I don't know how I didn't get those. The little guy, big stink. All right, and we're going full Willy Wonka with Goofy Goobers at this point. Yeah, see, it says it says right there. Basically, there's a mission here we can't do until we get a move later in the game. Oh. Uh, but yep, want to get all the manliness points possible so that I can become God, Sponge God, uh, Deity Pants. All 
All right, and I know there's a secret over here. Yeah, like uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, I'm probably gonna go for 100%, but I don't know. Maybe. There's also another door over here, but I think it's just, uh, just the manliness. Well, you know, you you see some fool, you just have to girth him up. Dang man, this game of hide and go seek is this game of hide and seek is boring. I'm out of here. How much of a man do I have to be? Patrick, if you bring me more Goofy Goober tokens, I can grant you the cartwheel move. Oh boy, I love whatever that move is. You will. Just bring me more Goofy Goober tokens. You're not relevant to the plot yet. Jumping, jumper, jumper, woo! That can still get cool stuff. So, there's a bit of a branching path here. Basically, you need the cartwheel move to advance. And you can either go there, or you can go this way. And of course, I will be doing both. Because I'm a nerd. Bring up to I've come to make an announcement. Dennis is a bitch ass motherfucker. Apologies for the French. I've been making references with a lot of French in them lately. I apologize to my non-existent younger viewers. I mean, Dennis isn't relevant to the plot either, yet, but didn't stop Mindy. Okay, Patrick, since you've brought me enough Goofy Goober tokens, you may now use the cartwheel move. Time to spin? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! You'd better get going, Patrick. There's lots to do. Okay, so now I can do this. But we're gonna do this too. The combat arena challenge. Defeat all enemies. Wave one of three. Are you ready, kids? Set. Go. Oh, but I'm doing it as SpongeBob. It took me until just now to realize that. So yeah, there, this is going to be a recurring thing, these little, like, side bonus levels. But there are different kinds, so look forward to seeing some, some of those. But this is the only one that just oozes macho. Oh, now we got the hammer, guys. You notice, like, a few enemies are kind of XPs of ones that were in Battle for Bikini Bottom. Like, you know, these guys are the hammers. And the enemies laugh when they hit you, which is pretty funny. I mean, especially to them, I suppose. Winning bikini bottom, one hapless soul at a time. 
Man, Goofy Goobers has a lot of staff, and I'm surprised so many of them are in this grass dimension, this nebulous area. Good thing they give you a lot of Krabby Patties. I don't know how I would have done it without fried foods. Oh my god. A lot of dudes. And don't forget, they uh, one of the features listed... One of the features listed for the remake of Battle for Bikini Bottom is like a horde mode. So pretty much expect exactly this. Oh, my leg. Oh, do not turn off your Xbox gun. Um, what was that laugh, Spongebob? <laughs> it sounded like Spongebob imitating Mr. Krabs. Ahoy, Spongebob! I have become a clone of you! Agagagagag! God, those hammer enemies are kind of a thing. At least I'm safe inside my mind. You know what, let's, uh... What's the upgrade description? Game Jing comes to near. I think I'll give Patrick a health upgrade. Oh boy, another Krabby Patty. It does not refill your health bar, however. I'm learning. Mm, this game exceeds my crate expectations. Okay, gotta press two button now. Welcome to the ice cream room. Oh, sorry. The just like kelp. walking on ice cream. But this is kelp cream. Or is that just the brand? Could be the brand. Oh, lord. Ice physics. Ice physics, eh? And another treasure chest is ours. I mean, it's not a real treasure chest. It's only based on the real treasure chest.
Oh, I want that. Oh, slidey stuff. I mean, if we get another upgrade point, we probably want to save that one for SpongeBob. Okay, now let's just take care of whoever's left over here. Jumping, jumper, jumper, woo! And uh, we can switch to SpongeBob and the porta potty. So we can play as drunk SpongeBob for a moment. go up here see like this is another area that we can't uh, that we can't actually do anything with yet there you are Patrick I've been trying to find you all evening uh, it's eight in the morning SpongeBob oh my gosh eight o'clock I am late for work Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh. Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We I don't continue. think that's how it happens. As SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. Gotta love that pun. SpongeBob, Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. You know, just lower a statue of plank then into the town square. This nothing to be, nothing conspicuous. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage or you'll have to start again. Oh. Our journey begins. Epic, heroic, daring, valiant, courageous. SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty. Oh, sorry. Just one second. Hmm. I had an email, but I don't see it. Hang on, let me just uh, do a, a quick response to this. Jeez. Patrick waits like seven entire minutes to say that. Oh, oh god. Oh. <laughs> I gotta refresh the chat. I went back to the wrong window. Okay. Just gonna let you enjoy this music for a second. Now, is there a drift? I think it's L, and you can drift. Or maybe I'm just full of it, I don't know. Yeah, I... 
No, I feel like it's do- I can't tell if it's doing anything. But we want to go through here. There's a hidden thing. Is there something over this way? Oh, there is. I'm glad I went this way. Yeah, this is a new type of level. Got the driving level. in the road. Oh. I gotta say, it's nice to be on the open road, cheese flapping in the wind. I wasn't sure if there was... I'm not sure if the game wanted me to go over there or not. What, man? You gonna arrest somebody driving a sandwich? How you gonna report that? Yeah, I think I was wrong about the drifting. This looks conspicuous. Oh no, I think that's just if you fail to make the jump. Oh, I got a horn. I mean, I suppose it might have been a little naive of me to assume that Spongebob game had a dedicated drift button. I'll just get mad at it. You've reached the edge of town and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. Pardon me. <laughs> With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket. And with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. they should have listened. Our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. Plankton is using those radio towers to broadcast his evil messages across the sea. SpongeBob, you have to find a way to shut those towers down. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now I can teach you the bash move. Those of you who have played or watched me now play... I am the master. ...have watched me play Battle for Bikini Bottom should know what this move is. Wow! Thanks, Mindy! Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. 
You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, well in that case I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. All right. These just ooze macho. Oh, I gotta say though, the animation, uh, pun possibly intended, packs a lot more punch in this game. Okay, there's some down here. Not sure why. And you know how to take care of this guy. I'm trying to think of a New Mexico based SpongeBob pun, but I can't think of one. Oh man, this song, this song, as goofy as it is, is so good. And camera's a little weird sometimes. Yeah, it, it likes it. It likes to point up when I do like this. If I point it slightly. Oh. No, actually, that's a different game. We're men. Okay, so now we can upgrade something as SpongeBob's. Ooh, this sounds, uh, that sounds interesting. I'll go for this. Power bash. Yeah, it probably needs a stricter dead zone, but what can you do? Is that Morse code? I wonder what that says. Detonate his entire bottom. Hypernova's right. It is. It does seem to be based on the glove from whatever episode, whatever the name of the episode Kevin was in is called. I forgot what it was. Even the jellyfish have helmets on. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. 
Like, they really didn't need to give the jellyfish helmets, but they did anyway, and I appreciate that. Is the room spinning, or is it just me? Oh, that's a headache waiting to happen. All right, all right. Hey, Lloyd, you're the one about the sponge that made it through the desert? No. Me neither. <laughs> what will it be, fellas? All right, sponge ball challenge. Another excellent song. Yeah, basically, Super Monkey Bob. Oh, that's a familiar sound effect. So yeah, like I said, there are different uh, bonus level types. And I think there's still one left that we have yet to see. Involving Patrick. Could happen one day. Could happen. Victory. I have a feeling that was supposed to be a victory screech, but it just didn't happen. Oh, but the manliness respawn. And I can get this health refill. You know, I was holding my controller up for a little bit there, and I'm not sure why, considering this is both easier on my arms and also uh, less likely to pick up on the microphone. something back there. I mean, I know that much. I don't know how to get to it, though. Actually, maybe you have to go forward still. What do you think of the original Xbox controller? Well... Right now I'm using uh, the S variant, not the Duke, so I don't know if that invalidates the question. Hello, Chang. Yeah, there we go. That's what I. That's what I. I would like to get a Duke controller eventually, just for the sake of having it. I'm feeling like more of a man already. You know, having some uh, variants is nice. Also, I gotta say the rumble in this game is surprisingly good. Like, there's a really, there's an actually pretty convincing like spring feeling. Okay, it didn't happen on that one for some reason. Oh yeah, there you go. There's the screech we were all waiting on. The bungee challenge, aw oh, man. It's all coming back. Yeah, like what, two years ago? It's all coming back. Boy, I love treasure 
hunting. Yeah, I remember when I said it runs on the same engine as Battle for Bikini Bottom because, you know, I, I was I wasn't lying about that. Oh, okay, we're moving on to the next area. Nothing like a little man typed up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Could have died to the bungee challenge. Didn't, but could have. Okay. And now back to what we were doing. And now for something completely different. Oh, wrong thing. Let's see, how we doing? Yeah, we're not doing too bad on this level. And it tells you how many treasure chests are in it, so that's useful too. Yeah, man, I mean, I'm wor I'm a little worried about the remake, because, I mean, the studio that's making it, I have never heard of before, and they only barely have, uh, more, subs more Twitter followers than I do, so that's a little worrisome. But at the same time, they, uh, dropped the name of Robo Squidward, they name-dropped Robo Squidward, so... I mean, I don't know. They seem like they at least know the game. And they know, like, what people probably want out of it. Okay, so here's the third type. I, uh, the Mario Sunshine sub-level. Ba ba bum ba bum bum ba hoo do 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 Um, yes, on the Steam page, they confirmed that cut content from the original game is going to be in the remastered version, and they name drop Robo Squidward as an example of that. So yeah, at least a new boss. And honestly, I the two other things I anticipate are I anticipate that the, the uh, dummied out final boss phase involving Patrick is going to be re-added. And then I also think that SpongeBob's dream is going to be expanded because there are a few areas. There's a few areas from the original game that didn't make it in to the final. Oh. I goofed. Oh, but there's a checkpoint. Fairly generous. Ooh. Yeah, man, let's just throw a bunch of these blocks into a, an empty void. It'll be great. Pardon me again. Like I said, I... I... <laughs> I can't tell if they pick up unless I'm looking at OBS, which I'm not right now. My only problem with them expanding Patrick's dream is is that it would, it would uh, ruin the gag from the original. But I'm also, I'm also down for just more content. Speaking of which, I don't know that there's going to be any new stages or anything, because, I mean, I imagine if there were- <laughs> Why am I so bad at Sponge Game? Um, but I imagine if they were going to add new stages, they probably would have advertised it. Because, I mean, I don't know about you, but I, I would have. Yeah, 
Either way, though, I didn't think it was going to happen. And I'm glad to see that some licensed games are getting the respect that I feel like they deserve. There's, you know, there's a lot of licensed games that I feel just are really good. You know, most of them tend to be crap, I will admit. But there are some, like Battle for Bikini Bottom, Castle of Illusion, Mickey Min- Oh, this is sick. Also kind of nauseating, but mostly sick. But yeah, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, uh, licensed games that, you know, I'm glad some of them are getting respect. Because sometimes, sometimes they can be good. And I feel like Battle for Bikini Bottom is definitely example, an example of them being good. And this game. I feel like it's probably a lot less likely that they are to remake this one, though. Especially considering it was based on a movie that came out like over a decade ago. Yeah. yeah, I just, I just don't, I don't see the SpongeBob movie rehydrated happening, which is why I just opted to go ahead and play it. Then again, then again, I also didn't see the SpongeBob movie game happening. Oh no, SpongeBob movie game, the Battle for Bikini Bottom remake happening. You know, so. What, you know, just what I think, who, who cares what I think, it's, if it's gonna happen, it, it's gonna happen. Okay, so you gotta be Patrick to do this. What does this lead to? Okay, this leads into the death hole. Squidward, you're like a steamed vegetable, only smarter. Wow, double hit. <laughs> I like how early Plankton's plan gets kicked off in, in the game compared to the movie. Whoa, that is an intense rumble. So let's go back and do the Patrick mission. Yeah, we might we might be able to get all the goofy goober tokens before we. Oh, hey, SpongeBob. <laughs> I completely forgot what I was saying beforehand. Uh, I, it's been a while since I played the GameCube version, but I definitely think that the Xbox version has a ton more voice clips. Because I definitely don't remember him talking about how the Goofy Goober is much less goofy. I mean, would make sense. The GameCube discs had a very, uh... Mm, restrictive, maybe not very restrictive, but they had a restrictive file size limit. Because Nintendo's like, nah man, mini DVDs, wave of the future. Or more like, wave of us trying to stop piracy. And it didn't work. But hey, I'll, I'll give it to him. It worked better than the Dreamcast, at least. Can you jump on these? Yeah, I don't know what I was expecting. Yeah, I have no idea if that's picking up, but I think usually it's... 
Uh, I feel like it usually isn't intense enough to pick up or pick up much, but still. Rip. Can we get uh, an F in the chat for the two hillbilly fish gas station attendant people? I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. All right, get ready for the, this game's slide theme. The last of Plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh, breathtakingly evil. These tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kind of hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any Plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. <laughs> I didn't do that. Looks like fireworks. Okay, I'll start talking again now. But man, this and Battle for Bikini Bottom have some pretty dank music. Oh, there's a treasure chest up there. If you if I can figure out how to get over there. Also, just don't question where we got a bathtub from. Or why it's filled up. They're just like giant dominoes. Yeah, sorry if I'm not responding to the chat much, but this is a level where you don't really get a good moment to look away at any point. I, have trouble saying goodbye. I think that was probably the chest to the right there, and I just missed it. I was after you. Oh well, we're gonna we're gonna get a chance to come back, and if not, I'll just I can get it off camera. Oh, there's I think there was a secret that way, but I was I was a bit of a wuss. I didn't want to take the plunge. Did Mickey bother to tell us if the train is still running around here? Uh, uh. Yeah, they should have spared some of those voice clips on Plankton. We at Eggman Enterprises, uh, something about an amusement park. Though technically this game came first, we gotta remember that. Okay, I. This is the hard path. Oh, there is a treasure chest up there. I. My death is confirmed and is. I'm just delaying the inevitable at this point.
different. I, I would quote that video where Plankton's voice actor swears, but I don't. But I have already reached my quota for today. Luckily, no lives. So, I can just keep retrying. How many treasure chests are in this level? Three. Oh. Okay, I almost missed that because of my pausing to check. Oh, <laughs> oh bikini bottom. Oh, here we see the sponge failing at platforming. <laughs> Very, uh, kind of tight, these jumps. Ah! Eat at the chum bucket. Hell, it's Krabby Patties. Okay, now, now that's it. I can't curse. I can't curse again for the rest of this stream, no matter how funny it is. <laughs> it's so much easier under the bucket, so I'm starting to think he's right about that. Starting to think maybe I should get me one of those bucket helmets. Uh, did, was there a benefit to doing that? Oh, okay. I see what the benefit is. Okay, but there's a checkpoint. Oh. And I remembered that there's no skill in my brain. Z, Plan Z, Plan Z. Plan Z, I love Plan Z. <laughs> this was all intentional to uh, grind the manliness po points. <laughs> Okay, come on, get some, get some speed, get some. Ah! <laughs> I want that treasure chest, and I'm gonna get it too. Okay. Okay, we got it. SpongeBob's got splinters, but we got it. I put the brain in the robot, you know. Okay, that one's that one's pretty sick. I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. <laughs> One goof. Yup. Our heroes, having foiled Plankton's evil plans, continue across the desert. But Plankton remains one stubby step ahead of them. He sends someone to make sure that they will fail. He is a vicious, ruthless killer named Dennis. Fortunately, SpongeBob and Patrick have discovered the paddy wagon in a parking lot. 
But the key is missing. So the only thing to do is to go into the rough, tough bar and look for it. Good luck, my friends. You're going to need it. Get ready for my favorite music in the game. You have to get the key to the paddy wagon back. Good news, Patrick. You've got enough Goopy Goober tokens for me to teach you a new ability. Sitting down. My flop is the mightiest flop of all. It's called the smash. Okay, I just got done saying that we were done with the cursing. In the air? Yes. You have to be in the air for the smash to work. You can use it to press buttons, break through floors, and even defeat enemies. The paddy wagon is parked outside, but you'll need to get the key back to use it. That doesn't sound hard. You'll probably have to defeat all of the thugs to get to it. That sounds hard. You can do it, I know you can. Well, if you believe in me, then I can do it. The, the key, key to the paddy, to wagon. The paddy wagon! Careful. Easy. You got it! <laughs> Stop. Hey, treasure. Terrified expression maintained. All right. The manliness has landed. I won't. Uh, I won't stay quiet for the music anymore. But really, this song is godlike, my friends. All right, swing. Hey, okay, so oh. I feel like this animation is less impactful than the Battle for Bikini Bottom equivalent. Oh, you know, just setting off explosives. That's what we do in man manly bars. Face was one of genuine frustration. Okay, now knowing this game, there's probably stuff down here. You know, or not. Could be nothing down here. Uh, oh, I pressed that, and that probably wasn't a good idea. Also, a fun little detail about this is that these guys provide the highest manliness value in the game. Which I suppose makes sense. So if you're gonna grind, go here. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna upgrade that. Nothing can stop the mighty stun Yeah, see this animation is much better. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and I love how I, I may have said this before, but if I did, I don't remember. The uh, the enemies get different skins per like area type. So they're all like the thugs here. Bring them to. And then there's like goofy Ooh, goober oh, versions wow. and so on. You know, I wish I had something to say about that chain of events, but I think it speaks for itself. Disco star. Macho stuff. Who knows what kind of perilous challenge awaits us. This is what manly people don't want you to know. Yep, yeah, and they even brought back the nonsensical disco grid from Battle for Bikini Bottom. Oh, I don't know why I didn't do anything there. It just it just happened to me and I let it happen. Alright, you know I gotta check. It's probably just a punishment for falling down here, but I still, I gotta know. Oh, please, you uncultured swine. We all know Deltarune ripped off Spongebob. Did I miss something back there? Also, Patrick just in constant terror this entire level. I mean, understandably so. Streams just always go back to Undertale, don't they? I mean, understandably, because if I don't talk about Undertale or Delta Rune, then Toby Fox will curse me with a pox upon my entire family. Okay, combat challenge once again. Oh yeah, these guys are a little frightening. Not sure why they use these guys in this part and not the the macho men. Maybe it's a programming oversight. Maybe they meant to do it. Oh yeah, just like yeah, yeah. Oh, the fish anity! Want to take out the barfing guys as soon as possible? Oh, 
Only I had the bubble bowl in this game. Is the room spinning or is it just me? Uh, lots of dudes. Obnoxious amounts of dudes. Quite an exorbitant amount of dudes. Also, something I just thought of. Uh, the BBC would like to apologize for uh, Dustin's really, frankly, horrible attempt at a Doc Brown impression last stream, which ended up sounding more like Rick from the Rigor Mortis show. I mean, if you want to do Doc Brown, it's, it ends up sounding more like Marty. Marty, we gotta, we gotta go back. We gotta stop Biff from uh, stealing the Krabby Patty formula, Marty. Oh, you can just touch those and they blow up. Marty, this sandwich is vitally important to the future. There's just eyeballs flying out, and it's quite possibly the grossest thing in this game so far. I was gonna make a, I was gonna make a grander statement there, but I decided it was probably gonna be untrue, whatever it was. These just ooze, macho. Is the room spinning or is it just me? Super fun! Saving the day! Ow! Don't wait for the bang. Ow! Uh, uh. 30,000 of the barfing burpo guys at any given time. Man, all this talk about the Krabby Patty is making me hungry. In, in Goober we trust. Alright. We're back to the, the baby hunt. And now, for something completely different. Boy, don't make me bring out the spicy keychain. Bring up two. Okay, okay. Honestly, I probably say okay more than I say woke these days. I've fallen so far. Where is my streaming career gone? I mean, I, it started in the toilet, so I guess it went further down the toilet. Oh, by the way, I'm I'm unable to. Oh yeah, well never mind. That pretty much answered my question. I'll have to ask uh, Restream if they know why that's not working. Because it used to work. Um. Hmm. And I'll give him an upgrade to the cartwheel. Super spin cycle. Oh god, this is a jam. 
how much of a man do I have? Heavy Iron Studio, who gave you the right to make the music this good? They really had no right. Oh, and here's another. Oh, I don't have it yet, but here's another. Another mechanic that has returned. I just realized that since I was Patrick, I was probably could have been using this. Probably could have been using this move the whole time I've been Patrick. You know, guys, I think I've come to a conclusion. I think I enjoy video games. And I've also come to the conclusion that I think, I think that this is a video game. Alright, more Spongeball coming up. No real point to being up here, but... Well, I mean, I guess there's a little bit of a point in being up here. Honestly, it isn't even that weird for streams to have, like, weird lore. Like, you watch Vine Sauce and you become acquainted with this entire collective of made-up characters. They see me rolling. They play in the clarinet. I swear, I think my my humor is slowly reaching like dad levels. Like this is borderline just dad level humor at this point. Maybe not even. In jokes are what give the strings the flavor. We're men. Gives it that special spice. Spongeball Z. You know, one of these days, we're gonna be in a bonus level, and then we're going to see a teleport pad for an entirely different bonus level in the middle of this one. It really is like SpongeBob Monkey Ball. Crates are back, and you know what that means. It means more manliness. Oh, it didn't activate them. Well, activate now. Mm, pardon me. Once again. I mean, it at least shows that something has has stuck when I've been streaming. 
So, at least I got that going for me. I mean, it's only stuck with maybe like five people, but that's still more than no people. Is there, any, is there something up there that's worth, like, risking my life? Uh, well, gee, I don't know. It doesn't look like it. I don't see the green glow. Look, the mis the missiles. Suck dirt. Is this is this just for enemies or is there anything in here? No, but I think just for enemies. Also, man, Disco Star happens much earlier in the level than I remembered. Oh, darn it, not again. Another uh, can't do this yet mission. Oh my god. Oh, that they might have gone a little too far with that one. Fortunately or unfortunately, the slide theme only plays in slide levels. You don't actually get it uh, on just regular old slides. Yeah, I probably should have been Patrick for this. I got a cramp in my side. Oh, oh. Is the room Don't let it get away. I think we've got the key now, Patrick. I also think you can get off of me. No weenie parking anytime. The gates are locked. You'll have to find all the keys to unlock the gates. SpongeBob and the ancient keys. There, I said it. Now none of you can say it. The gates out to the main road are locked. Locked? Then how can we drive out? Floor the paddy wagon and bust through the gates. Sorry, Patrick. For that, we'd need a super crabby paddy deluxe. You can unlock the gates if you find all the keys around the track. Okay, so I don't know if touching... If touching the thing will hurt me. But we can slide on that. Okay, find out. Yes, that, that absolutely hurts me. But now we know. I'm telling you guys, you gotta, you gotta make a, you gotta make a TV tropes to catalog all this, and I am not just saying that solely to stroke my own ego. Yes, I am. Yep, land on the platform. Okay, I gotta go back for the actual key. Can I go this way? I sure can. Mm, treasure. Give me the treasure. Okay, so that's one lap. 
Oh, but I saw a treasure chest down there. So we're going back. I can't believe we're playing Grand Theft Sponge. Okay, not really. I'm honestly surprised there hasn't been a SpongeBob kart racer. I mean, I guess there was like the Nicktoons racers. Okay, now I gotta figure out how to get up to that one. Okay, so we went the other way last time. Let's go this way this time. Oh, almost punctured my tires. The thug tug doesn't even put those there for the sake of, like, stopping lawbreakers. They just do it because it's fun, and it's funny to them. And because it's manly. Oh no, it's the spicy sauce that I was thinking of. You don't want to land in the spicy sauce. Okay, I am completely at a loss. Oh, wait, something happened. So I am no longer at a loss. The blue stuff doesn't hurt, you know, except my sanity. Did I say the blue stuff? The black stuff. The gates are open. Also, I hope you don't mind, but on the 11th, Nintendo is going to announce Spongebob for Smash. You all thought it was going to be Goku, but it's actually going to be Spongebob. I hate to break it to you this way. Probably just use my uh, turbos. Oh. Oh. Now where, where is? Oh dang! I need a heal. Oh yeah, I, I definitely do not want Goku or SpongeBob in Smash, just because of what that would mean. Gotta love how the paddy wagon gets more beat up, the more damage you take. I also don't want Sora in Smash for similar reasons. Because if Sora gets in Smash, that means Mickey gets in Smash, and I don't know if I'm ready to live in a world where Mickey Mouse is in Smash. Okay, now I realize we're probably a little under. Oh. We've got to start acting like men. SpongeBob. I'll be right back. SpongeBob, wait! Make mine chocolate. I actually like that delivery better than the one that's in the movie. I think. Fairy stars and goober beans with extra sauce, please. Uh, you can let go now. I said let go, please. Uh, uh, what kind of old lady are you? I'll save you, SpongeBob! Ah, what is that thing? It's a... a thing! Uh, 
SpongeBob movie honestly had some weirdly disturbing imagery for this game for this uh, show. I mean, before the post movie season started coming on and they started doing some really messed up stuff. I don't even want to talk about Squidward and Clarinet Land. was vanquished by an even more hideous creature coming from the deep ocean trench. Well, we lost our car again. Never mind the car. Where's the road? There's the road on the other side of the deep, dark, dangerous, monster-infested trench. <laughs> After gulping, SpongeBob and Patrick decided to throw in the towel. Luckily, Mindy arrived and show them what was really going on back in Bikini Bottom. Well, Plank we already knew about transformed that. Transformed Bikini Bottom into Planktopolis. The sight of their city convinced our heroes to continue on to Shell City. So, in order to become men, they cried like little babies. But someone was hot on their tail. With no time to lose, Princess Mindy thought of a better idea and our heroes quickly became men and marched toward the treacherous trench. All right, so I realize we we're, to Shell City, we're running a little to bit under. Trench. You can get to the bottom. But I think slide. that's going to be all for right now. I mean, as soon as I can, you know, back out of this level. The only way across the trench is along the bottom. But you have to get there first by traveling down the slide, past those sea monsters. Mm, the trench is pretty deep. And very dark. Oh, no sweat, Mindy. We're men now. Those sea monsters wouldn't scare a guppy. That's the spirit. Now get down there as quickly as possible. All right. I think that'll be about it. We'll get some more of this in the coming days probably not next stream because that's probably going to be tony hawk because i've teased that enough by now i mean not that i'm sure anybody cares enough to really riot over it but well it's more like my butt hurts and i must shit up